In this video, I'll be showing you how to link to a specific time in a YouTube video. This way you can send somebody a link and they don't have to sit through the first five minutes. You can send them a link that says start playing at the five minute mark. For instance, we have a video here and you notice the URL is quite long and confusing and I'm just going to copy that and paste it so you can see it larger. And there's a bunch of extraneous features here which you don't really need. Even when you share a video and you copy this shorter URL, when you paste it in the search bar, it's this long, right where my mouse is. Then you see as I entered, it expanded to all that extra characters. So if I go and paste this here and compare these two, everything after the first ampersand, you don't need it. You can delete it. And in this one, the ampersand is here and feature YouTube. That's just for the YouTube shortening URL. And this is the base URL. And as you can see, it gets you to the same video. What we just did was remove some extra PHP variables. You don't technically need to do this, but it makes this link shorter and it's more easier to understand when you're looking at it. To actually link to a specific time, you need to add and t for time equals and then the number of seconds. So say you started with 33 seconds into the video. If you click on this link, notice how the time right here, it's 33 seconds when we started. Now if you wanted to go in a minute into the video, you'd have to multiply seconds by 60 and add that to the leftover amount of seconds and that could be confusing. So you just need to remember s is for seconds, m is for minutes, and h is for hours. See, so if you wanted to go 1 minute and 10 seconds into a video, just do and t equals 1m10s. And you see it starts playing at 110. If you do have a longer video, that's like an hour or two hours, you need to make sure that the 1h comes before the minutes, comes before the seconds. They have to be in order biggest to smallest. Now a shortcut is to do right click and copy video URL at current time. When I paste that, it's the shorter URL, and t equals 80 because it's only dealing with seconds for this. It does get you to the same time, 120, but the right click shortcut does not use the minutes and hours shortcut. The reason I showed you the PHP stuff beforehand is because this HTML5 player is fairly new to YouTube and this right click option has not always been here, but the PHP stuff always works. Also, it does not work when you're trying to embed a video. So you need to go to share, embed, and copy this code. Here's the YouTube URL and at the very end of that before this quote instead of typing and t equals we actually have to type question mark start equals and then the amount of seconds you want. Now I'm going to copy this and I'm just going to paste it into an HTML document. If you don't know what HTML is it doesn't really matter. This is just a demonstration of how the embedding works. If I run this page you see how it starts playing at 30 seconds. However, with embedding, there's no shortcuts for hours, minutes, seconds. You do have to do the math to multiply about how many seconds you want. The reason we had to add a question mark was because the first PHP variable in a URL always has to start with a question mark. If I go back to the embed code and I uncheck show suggested videos, see what changed here is rel equals zero. That's a PHP variable called rel. Now if I get this new code, and over at the old one, if we wanted to make the start time, since rel is already a PHP variable in the URL, any further variables have to be preceded by the ampersand, so start equals 100 for 100 seconds. Now if I overwrite our previous code in the HTML and run it again, you see it's starting at 1 minute and 40 seconds, that's 100 seconds. The order in which you put PHP variables doesn't matter. You could have the start time first and the rel related videos after. Make sure that the first one is preceded by a question mark and any subsequent ones have to be preceded by the ampersand. Both of these are more official ways of linking to a video, but if you want to make a video stop, not just start at the time you want to, I would go to tubechop.com. You enter the URL, click search, and then you can set your start and end times. You can drag it with this bar, or you could type it in right here. And then you click update, chop it, and this link here is the same as the one in the address bar. That's the one you'd send somebody. If you wanted to embed it, there's the embed code.